Hello everyone and welcome to K times 2 Reborn Nursery. I am KJ and I'm on here today to have a topic but I also want to share a haul. Um, share a haul with you. So I will start off with the haul that I have. Um, these are some red um, and they are patent leather shoes. I'm hoping you can see them. I got them from Amazon. They have some really cute shoes. This is like a zero to six months. And it's like the soft Mary Janes versus like the uh, hard ones. And then I have this pair in white. And it has two buckles on the side. And again, this is that this is that zero to six months. I would not recommend it for like a newborn size baby. But if you have, um, if you have, I would say a baby that's maybe 23 to 26 inches maybe these probably will work they and they look a little big but um i'll explain why i have these in a moment so this is a pink pair and the pink has a nice little bow on the side i thought these were really cute so i wanted to add this to um my little pile of stuff that i've been just accumulating um for the next k baby that will come all right so let's get into this topic because this is a really good one. This is something that I have experienced multiple times in my years of collecting. And it's like, <laughs> you can never, um, I don't think you ever really can, I don't know. Let me just tell you what I'm talking about. Empty nest reborn syndrome, reborn mommy syndrome rather. And I'm definitely having that now because um, I don't have any girls in my collection I don't have any babies in my collection, not just specific to girls, but I don't have babies in my collection now. And this isn't the first time. Like I said, I have done resets with my collecting several times uh, before this particular period. Um, like I said, I went from eight reborn dolls to only two. And then from the two, I jumped back to three. Um, but before then, I had maybe three dolls at one time. I had an infant, a toddler, or maybe two infants and a toddler. This is like a little bit, this is maybe uh, probably seven plus years ago. But anyway, I had three, three babies. I let the infants go. Cause like I said, I, I've always known that the toddlers are more my style opposed to the uh, infants. Um, so I've tried it. I've tried the sleeping ones. I've tried the awake ones. I've tried the expressive ones. And I just really think infants are not for me but i've talked about that before um so i ended up giving the infant not in, giving but selling the infants that i had i kept the toddler for a long time and then i just got to the point where i was like i don't even want the toddler anymore i just don't want dolls right now so i got um i sold her i don't want to say got rid but i sold her and it was probably um i'm gonna say maybe whoa i wouldn't say five but maybe four three to four years before I went back and got more dolls, which was by Cam, uh, Cammy and Juliet sculpt by Ping Lao. They were known as Kennedy and Kinsley, which actually launched this channel, um, K times two, because they were the two. And I was, you know, you know how we always say, we're just gonna get the two for right now. And, you know, I started off with the two girls, then, um, I think, yes, next was uh, my Gabby Gill, which was a Gap Baby. I've talked about um, that experience too. Um, and then I got my first partial silicone, my first silicone baby ever, but she was a partial. And I just thought that I would never, never, never get any more for a while. I'm not saying ever, ever, but for that particular, you know, time time period, I felt you're good. You don't need to get any more. Um, and then, like I said, you know the rest of the story. Babies kept popping up here. I was just like the old woman in the shoe. You know, I had so many reborn babies, I didn't know what to do. So <laughs> I'm never really good at keeping a, a large collection throughout my years. I've learned that too about myself because I do feel a certain weight with having babies on the shelf that I never interact with. So I like to keep a small nursery. I get overwhelmed and like having eight babies at once for me was just overwhelming because it was just like, I would interact with maybe three and then I'm looking at the other five like oh you know <laughs> I need to I need to get them dressed I need to you know show them some love for a little bit you know and it just was for me and my schedule and my lifestyle 
eight is just too much. So I scaled down to my two, which was, uh, uh, which was um, Kaylee <laughs> and Kensington. Um, and like I said, then Kendrick came. Uh, well, there were a few that came and left in the, in between that time too, but um, Kendrick came, so I had the three. Um, we were solid three, four bit. And then I just hit the mommy reset button. I just decided I wanted something else. I wanted something else. I, I really want a silicone baby. That's just kind of my thing. You know, I love my toddler girls that I had, really loved them, but I just kept having that longing for a silicone baby. Um, so I had a hard decision to make. <laughs> I had a very hard decision to make because at one point I just felt like, okay, you need to get out the hobby because you are actually being priced out of the hobby because, again, I'm trying to save money to do some things in my personal life, buy a home, things of that nature. And when you, I just didn't have that, <laughs> that to spend on my hobby as I did, I would say pre-COVID because I was working as a musician, um, but that has since stopped. So that stopped some of my income as far, especially my hobby income. It really halted that a good bit. Um, but there were still some little ways I made things happen and got still was able to get babies and buy baby things. Um, but, you know, I, I just had a lot going on at that time. I'm like, OK, I want a silicone, but man, I think I'm getting priced out the game. I might as well just fall back. Um, but then, like I said, I, 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 why I enjoyed my collection, I still I, I just want a silicone baby. I do. So my options were sell your collection, your three girls and go for the one. Or you keep your three girls and you be content with that. <laughs> or you sell everything and just, you know, fold your hands and say you're out the game until some things change for you. So um, I decided option number one. <laughs> I decided door number one, which was sell everything. And I went back and forth with it. I'm sure you guys saw that. I went back and forth, um, sold every, sold my girls, all three girls sold, thank goodness. And then I was left with the decision, okay, now which silicone do you want? <laughs> so I had a Lillian Breedvale saga that I was going to purchase. And then Lauren Miller Sands <laughs> came through with her new collection and I saw Baby Hayden. Baby Hayden was the third baby that she showcased. If you go to her Facebook page, you can still see the live where she showcased all three of her uh, new babies. Um, there was an infant side. All of them were partials. Then there was one with teeth, a smiling baby. And then there was sweet little Hayden on the end. That baby just kind of <laughs> made me pause. Just kind of, it reminded me so much of how Finley did, how she did with me. And like I said, I did enjoy Finley. I loved her during the time that I had her. But I did want a baby with a more brown skin tone than the biracial tone. So that's really the only reason why I departed with um, Kendall, because I wanted a darker baby. Okay, so <laughs> that said, I did, I did, uh, I was, you know, as soon as um, Lorna was like, okay, if you want to get the babies, this is what you need to do. I, you know, hurried up and secured my spot for custom. Um, I did not get the prototype, but I, I, I wanted to um, reserve my spot for a custom. So that said, <laughs> I will be a reborn mom again a lot sooner than I thought. Um, and I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. It looks like um, the baby will be here before the end of the year. So she will be a 2021 baby. Um, I'm excited about it. I feel that I made the right decision for me. And I'm going to be rocking with this little girl for a bit. Um, she's going to be my only one. And I'm holding myself accountable to that. You know, um, even if I purchase kits for later. And I'm still going to limit myself even with that. So that I'm not just buying kits and having them all over the place. Um, I'm limiting myself with kits. But I will definitely be rocking this one baby for a good minute. So, um, yes, I'm still here. <laughs> I told you guys I never was going anywhere. But, um... I do have empty nest reborn syndrome where I look at this changing table when I'm passing and I don't see a baby on it. I look at the little bloom chair. I don't see a baby in it. Look at the little carrier. I don't. And I feel a certain way I do. Um, 
I see the babies with their new moms and I'm happy for them. But it does kind of make me feel like, wow, you, you don't have a baby. <laughs> you don't have a baby anymore. So what are you doing? Um, so I have been partially nesting. I have, I have to admit, I have been partially nesting for this new baby, but I'm trying not to go overboard. Um, but I did get these shoes. <laughs> so these shoes will be for my new silicone baby. And I used to have these similar type shoes for Kindle. So that's how I know they're going to work, um, for the new baby that's coming. So yeah. Do you all ever feel empty nest syndrome when you, um, have no babies in your collection? Have you gone through periods like that? Um, like I said, I know, at, like I said in the beginning, I was a revolving door. Um, I've kind of slowed it down a little bit better this time. That was a rash decision to sell my three the way I did. Um, that's why I went back and forth with it for a minute. But I am at peace with that decision. I feel good about it. The girls are going to great homes. Um, and I'll be getting a baby that fits my needs for right now. Um, because A, honestly, I don't need a large collection now. B, I want a silicone. <laughs> and then C, it's a Lorna Miller Sands baby. And I'm so... Um, I'm so accustomed to her babies. I like the size. Even with newborn size babies, they're just not my faves. I like them to be just a little chunky. Um, and Lorna's babies are definitely chunks. They're, they are definitely chunks. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. And also, I am going to be doing more videos. I'll be featuring more things opposed to babies until that time come because like I said I will be getting little things here and there to share and show you all so it'll be more like a haul conversation kind of video sort of like this one and um, we'll all just be in anticipation when I do the box opening for um, the baby that will come before the end of the year so as always I thank you all for watching don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. If you've had any empty nest experiences while you've been collecting, um, have you done away with your entire collection? Um, what was it like in between? You know, were you able to um, nest maybe for a baby that was forthcoming or did you just kind of bag away from even watching YouTube videos of other collectors, looking at pictures on Instagram, Facebook, whatever? Did you take a complete break? Um, and there's no way I can take a complete break. Let me say that too. There's no way that I could take a complete break, meaning like just back all the way from the hobby, not looking at pictures, not looking at videos. Um, I may limit it more where I'm not looking as much, but I'm definitely not going to um, ever be like, oh, I just don't want to see the dolls anymore. Not that. Um, so anyway, leave your comments in the comment section and don't forget to press the like button and I will see you in our next video. Goodbye.